Welcome back, and uh, so far this week there's been a bunch of different things going on. So here's uh, Zach putting the heavy layers of carbon fiber on these um, molds for the upper door skins. And uh, there's so Zach's doing one and Devin's doing the other. So Devin's nearly finished there, he's just putting down the, the peel ply for where the uh, braces are going to be for that to support that one. And here's Jeff in the process of welding up the frame that uh, supports the main spar mold and you'll see that a little bit more uh, in a minute here. And this is the plug for the air intake scoop and that one's uh, off the mill now and finished and uh, ready for sanding. A few little uh, issues on that but nothing uh, major so it um, won't be long and that will get a guide coat on there and be uh, underway for sanding. And these are the upper door skin molds there, both of those uh, finished, and actually this is the, the next day, so um, they've all finished there, and actually Jeff's already released them and, and trimmed the outside edge, and here you can see the underside of one, and they came out good. Now these are the ones that he sprayed the um, top coat on, and rather than putting it on with a brush, and actually came out really well. There wasn't any air bubbles or anything around where the rubber profile is, so we'll probably be using that process. And these are the steel frames that support the door, the outer door frame mold. So um, we have basically a square platform frame and then some verticals that each one mates up to one of those um, adjoining boards. And so we've kind of aligned everything, I actually used SolidWorks and CAD to help us align it all. Um, so the little uh, right angle that we have coming off of the main square actually sort of sits flush against each of the boards and just made it, uh, it's going to make it easier to bolt um, those on there and this will just hold those molds in place so they don't flex. And this is what the finished product looks like when it's removed uh, away from the molds. So ultimately those uh, ends will have holes drilled in them that will made up with those boards again and so that all the pieces of the mold will be put on there and then we'll be able to lay it up. And these are the plugs for the seat uh, mounts for the aircraft. So there's the one closest is the rear seat mounts and then the further one away is the front seat mounts. So those are being sprayed with putty and ready to go on the mill. And here's another one of those frames and here you can see Jeff um, has done all the finished welding because originally he just tacked them up when they were up on the actual um, plugs with the molds. And now he's uh, welded those up so it won't be long and we'll be able to actually um, release those molds from the plug and um, get them ready for laying up. And uh, here's, now this is a little bit confusing here because there's two things next to each other. The one in the back there, the larger one, that's the frame work for the main spar that's sitting next to it there on the left. And just to the right of it there, now with the camera on there, that's just another one of, of those two uh, frames for the uh, outer door skin molds. And back on the mill, this is the plug for the front uh, seat mounts. So that's just starting out there with the face cut around on the flanges. So, and that one doesn't take that long because it's just basically all flat. There's not a lot of up and down going on. And here's uh, Zach and Devin putting those braces on the uh, outer door skin molds. So um, they'll be ready to be waxed and laid up soon. And I forgot to mention last week that actually Mark had his last day on Friday. So we're going to miss him. He's gone off to do something else, but uh, I want to thank him for all the good effort he put in. And there's uh, Zach just finishing off the braces for that one. And these are the super long bolts that we ordered that are going to um, be the main bolts for the landing gear legs that you saw the other week. So um, quite long, I think 16 inches long or something for those. So anyway, those are in now. And coming next, I've been working on the uh, lower strake, um, which is, encompasses the the tank, the tanks for the um, main fuel. And what I've been trying to do here is incorporate the landing gear well for the main legs and tire wheels and tires, so it's all one piece. And I've been managed, I've been able to actually do that, and so we'll be able to save um, about three parts or maybe four parts altogether by being able to make all this in one part. So this is kind of what it looks like there, just as a single part next to what the just the skin of the fuselage. 
and here you can see there it is with the flanges all laid out so um, that'll be the one you know left and right will be the next one of those that we'll be milling out of the foam and even though we uh, haven't flown the model yet we know that the main part of the wing isn't going to change what will change possibly is the winglet size in in the model and also maybe the foreplane a little bit so we'll, because we've already uh, laid up the main spar we know that this this whole area here with the, t the tank and the strake which is the strake is the area um, sort of the inboard area of the wing um, where the tank is which is what you're looking at so anyway we know we know that's not going to change so we're happy to go ahead and mill that but we will be flying the model again um, fairly soon now anyway that's our update for the first half of this week thanks again for watching